What we have today is a pair of Manolo Blahnik sandals that are completely ruined. Overall, the sandals are in quite a good shape, except for these leather straps that hold the sandal together that are completely ruined and therefore could not be worn. Judging by stitching, a shoe repairman or a cobbler has already tried to repair this pair of sandals, but failed miserably. Let's see if we can do a better job. Now, the first thing we need to do is to remove these straps that have completely broken off and try to replace them with new ones. So the name of the game is remove the stitching and take the straps out without doing too much damage to the rest of the sandal. Since I need to replace the straps with new ones, I need to carefully measure the old ones. To make it easy to cut the leather, I'll make a simple cardboard template. Notice how the cardboard template is twice the width of the original strap. This is because the new leather strap is later going to be folded. I have some scrap leather stored away that I have bought online for just a few bucks and out of that stash I will select the pieces that closely resemble the thickness and the texture of the old strap. I have chosen the last piece of leather because it is the softest one and the leather is much stronger than the one the old strap was made of, so I'm sure it will last much longer. By using some leather glue, I'm going to fold the new straps and glue them together so that we reach the original strap width and make them much sturdier than the original ones. With some clamps and scrap leather that ensures there are no marks left after the clamps are removed, I'll make sure the glue has the time to bond to the leather. Because the original leather color is dark and we want to paint the new straps in a lighter color, I will first paint our new straps white. By mixing the white leather dye with a pinch of a blue dye, we will get a light blue tone that resembles the original color. Finally, it is the time to paint our new straps with this new color. Because the original stitching has broken and the leather got damaged around the edges, I had to first sand these areas to get the healthy leather. Then I've also sanded the edges of the strap itself, just to make sure the glue is going to make a strong bond later on. And here is the first glimpse of how the sandals are going to look like once finished. Now it's the time to glue one side of the strap to the sandal. It's pretty straightforward. We apply glue and then we use scrap leather and clamps to secure it in place. We do the same thing for the other side. Probably because of the poor shape the sandals were in and the damage the area around the strap sustained, the paint got peeled away while we were working on the sandals. So let's fix this problem as well. To prepare the affected area for painting, we first need to sand the sandals. Acetone is good for removing any dirt or excess paint so that new paint will stick better. It is very difficult to achieve the exact color of the sandals. I'm using the white to make the color light and a pinch of blue and yellow to get to the original light green-blue tone. Finally, we are ready to paint our sandals.
The last step is to protect the sandals with a layer of transparent matte finish that will protect the paint from scratches. And we are finally done! It proved to be a much more difficult project than initially anticipated. But we have finally managed to complete it and finally the sandals are ready to be worn for a few more years for sure. I'm really happy how this project turned out, but also that it's over. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Have a nice day. Bye bye.